somebody asked me the other day standing by my window at the door they was talking about the Lord and they looked, the guy looked at me he said or because he, he hadn't never heard me or knew anything about me and somebody was telling him about me and they were standing there with me and, and, and he said uh, your picture ain't on some poster somewhere in the post office is it I said yes sir it sure is he looked at me and did his head like that. I said Hale's post office I'm in one of the top ten I hope <laughs> most wanted he said oh man he said I gotta hear you I said, well, you won't hear me. I pray, I pray you hear the Holy Ghost. Come on. Hallelujah. Amen. Jesus I know. Paul I know. But who are you? Acts 19, verse 15. Somebody say the demons knew Paul because Paul knew Jesus. Somebody say we don't need a new year. We need a new year. A K-N-E-W. Not a new, but a K-N-E-W. I'll get into that Sunday morning. Y'all going to come back? Hallelujah. Praise God. You that didn't come, we'll see you next year. Praise God. Hallelujah. I, you heard the old saying, until the cows come home, well, I preach until the kids come back in. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise Hallelujah. God. Well, we're not going to leave without giving him praise and giving him thanks. Hallelujah. So, Lord, we just worship you before. Lord, it's our last time in here before uh, January 1st, which is on Sunday this coming Sunday so God we just thank you yeah yeah right here in the end of the year we still claim it as the year of our Lord in the year that's to come if it comes because you could come before that year comes mm, many are looking for the coming in of a new year waiting for a clock to strike midnight but Lord Matthew 25 and 6 said it'll be at midnight a cry will be made a trumpet of sound uh, saying go ye out to meet him the bridegroom is coming ain't it amazing folks will stay up all night until midnight uh, on December the 31st uh, hallelujah and can't even wake up uh, about a savior that said he's coming at midnight oh and come into his house the next day oh hallelujah glory now some, some would say well why ain't y'all having a service on December the 31st and you know having a night watch and, and praying after midnight cause the next day is Sunday and you need your rest it may be January the 1st but it's the Lord's day no matter what the yes. date is amen. Hallelujah. amen I don't care what date it is it's the Lord's day that's what it is so uh, you'll hear from God if you come or you watch you'll hear what he's got to say on the first day of the year and somebody say first things first you know why it's why Sunday's the first day of the week it's not part of the weekend they're trying to redo this. And, my, and, and there's people in the church world even thinks that Sunday's part of the weekend. It is not your weekend. Somebody say it's the week begin. How do you know Sunday's the first day of the week? Because the Bible told us so. Amen. Not only did the Bible tell us that Jesus loves us, but the Bible told us Sunday's the first day of the week. Read in Acts chapter 20, verses 8. It said they gathered the first day of the week. Amen. Why? Why did the early church in the book of Acts gather on Sunday, the first day of the week? Because in Luke 24, it was the first day of the week, that Sunday morn, amen, that the women came to the tomb and Jesus weren't there. He was raised from the dead. Somebody say, that's why we go into the Lord's house on Sunday. It's an old tradition that folks in a new year need to get back to doing. Come on, somebody. They showed up at the house of the Lord on the Lord's day. Oh, hallelujah, Lord. Help us to renew that in this new year like never before. You better take care of Jesus or the enemy will take you out. Don't let him take you out. Take Jesus up and do what he said to do. God, and to you be the glory. In Jesus' name. And the church said, uh, bye.